Hi guys, so for today's Freeform Friday, I want to do something a little different, kind of fun, kind of something for that we used to do at school when we were kids, and I am going to use the Spellbinders January 2021 uh, card kit. This was initially sent to me free of charge by Spellbinders, um, but like I said, all opinions are my own, and that's normally what you would say with a review. Now this is just mine, it's in my stash and I use it, but um, however, you, I just want to put that full disclosure out there and any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links and very quickly if you sign up for Spellbinders this month any day this month till end of the month this is the kit that you will get and they usually ship it out shortly after they have processed your your club you know that day and next day however many days um so this would be the kit you get uh, in January. And then in February, the February 1st, they'll launch the new kit. And then it's basically 30 days from whenever you sign up. So if you sign up, I think today's the 15th, you'll get billed and shipped out next 15th, right? So uh, however you want to do that. And if you're already a member, this is the kit you would be getting in January if you're a card kit member. But what I want to do is make um, a fortune teller. I thought that was kind of fun. And I just think about it, in Valentine's we usually do that. And then we have um, this uh, cute lucky set. So I think with lucky love would be a very cute thing to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick out a piece of the um full-size cardstock and then some of the little papers that we're going to need and some other little items to make a cute little fortune teller and i'll be right back. okay guys to start our little fortune teller um i just grabbed the white paper from the pack there and i cut it eight and a half square because it's eight and a half already right standard eight two size paper just cut it on the 11 inch side eight and a half inch square and when we were kids you know we would just fold it right you would take a whole piece of paper and do your little fold it in a triangle, rip off that extra piece. If you had scissors, then you would cut them, but usually we would just tear it <laughs> and then go from there, right? Because it was just something fun we would do during school. Um, but we're gonna score it because we are grown ups, okay? So I have my scoring board here. I always have this marked with four and a quarter, so I have like a blue line here that I can really see very well. Whatever it is that you wanna do, what you're gonna do is angle your paper so that whichever line you choose, like let's say four inches, make sure you're at four inches when you come out the other side or whatever. But I'm gonna angle this so that I can tell that I'm at that, my point is at that blue line and then ends at the blue line over here on the other side. I know it's hard to see because I, you know, it's a big piece of paper, but it's going straight down. So we are going to score it. Again, if you wanna just fold it, it's not gonna look that great because this is nice cardstock, so it's gonna, um, get a little wonky so you probably don't want to do that and then we're gonna do the same thing with the other angle so angle it the other way and do the same thing just score it right down the center so we're not worried about measurements other than just score your paper so like let's say you want to make this bigger and you want to use 12 by 12 paper same thing just that would be really big <laughs> uh, just score it right down opposite ways and basically what we're doing this for is to give us a registration mark so I'm gonna take this over and you can fold, I'm just folding it towards, you know, the score lines. If you want to do it the other way, go ahead. It doesn't really matter the end, um, which side of your paper, unless you have a specific side you want your paper to be showing. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But um, a lot of this, we're working on the back side before we get to the front. So I'm just kind of eyeballing, making sure that looks nice, corner to corner. And then when I bone fold it, when I actually score it, then I'll... I'll bone fold towards the center. I'm not pushing it out, I'm pushing it towards the center. Then we're gonna open it up and the same thing in the other direction. And then we're gonna pick out our papers. Now when we were kids, um, the first set of things that you get to choose to do your fortune is the outside. And the outside was usually colors and sometimes people would just color in the whole thing with crayon or you know whatever marker. Um, you know, red, yellow, green, blue, whatever colors you like, purple, pink, you know, <laughs> depends whatever you like. So I think I'm gonna do is look through the paper pack and see if there's any colors that are specifically just like blue or red or those kind of things, but we'll do that in just a minute. And there are some, I've used some of this, but like that orange, that one's pretty much all blue, that one's pretty much all green, you know, I'll try to do that. If you wanna put wording, you can. Um, okay, so the next thing you're gonna do here is fold your corners into the center. Now, do you want to score that too? I suppose you can look at it and you can d do your judgments. I, I don't think it's going to be that easy to do. So for this one, all I'm going to do is fold over. And I'm matching the tip right into the corner. And a lot of times, look, when you're bone folding, it wants to fold on that line anyway. So just go up and then from there, go to one side and go to the other. And that's not bad, right? It looks pretty good. I think that's easier than trying to do the math to figure out where you need to put that score line. 
and I'll do the same thing all around. I'm going to come over here. I'm not bending it yet, just getting it trained to go to the center. Match it up pretty nicely. I'm leaving a little bit of a gap, not too much, because this is cardstock and it is a lot firmer, obviously, than just regular old paper. Um, and I don't want to end up having it touch each other and get crumpled later when we actually go to fold this thing to make our fortune teller. So I'm leaving a little gap. Give it a little room to breathe. Okay, and I'll do the same thing with all the, the corners. Just bring them in, gently train them. When I'm happy, then I'll go ahead and push back towards the other way. And I'll be right back. Okay, they're all folded in. I kind of tried to bone fold. I don't want to get too committed to this, but just a little bone folding, nice and sharp. And then we're going to turn this over, okay? <laughs> this is the last bit. Now on this one, I am going to give it a bone fold, I think, because it's so thick, there's layers of paper. So what you're going to do, you see this X or cross, I guess, if you're holding it straight up and down. We're going to go from one corner to the other corner so that we can fold this over. And so what I'm going to do is, again, just line it up with that blue line and see so how to kind of angle it really well. And I'm not going to score it so that I'm touching line to line. I'm going to give it a little room. I'm going to go to the right of that just a little bit. Because again, this is cardstock. When we go to fold it, you want to give it a little room to, to not be so tight. I'm going to move over just a little bit. And it doesn't have to be this, you know, like I said, when we were kids, we would just <laughs> fold it all by hand and be done with it. But I just, you know, if you want to make it look a little sharper. So I would do that all around. And then we're going to bring this over and try to get it nice and straight as you can. And then now when I bone fold, I'm gonna bone fold it out. Okay, so hopefully you can kind of see that it's nice there. Same thing with the next one. And you see I give it a little room to breathe just to the right of the very corner there. This is so cute already. <laughs> All right, then down to the center. Again, I'm putting my bone folds out. I'm not pushing it in this way, but however you want to adjust it. I'll do the same thing for the other two sides. Just line it up, score it, fold it over. I'll okay, be right back. I'm on the very last one. And this is it, you guys. Normally, okay, after you're done with this part, everything's kind of in, and then you're gonna fold it um, because you want this side to be showing. Now, I usually kind of give it a feel, like which one, see when I was doing this, this didn't really want to fold very much this way. It kind of wanted to fold more in this direction, so I'll do that. But you're going to fold it either here or here. you got to pick one. <laughs> but it, like I said, if you give it a squeeze, there'll be one way that wants to break more than the other. And here we go. And that's it. So nice and tight because of that cardstock. Again, I'm going to push out, like towards me. Give it some room on the inside of your thing. And just really fold it down. Oh my gosh, how cute. So this is nice and stiff again because of the cardstock. And remember you would put your little thumbs in here, your finger, and then you would put whatever you want on the inside there. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a squeeze because it's really tight, okay. And we would um, put on the inside whatever little, ooh, look at that, so pretty. I'm doing it very gently because I don't want to mess it up, but there it is. And, you know, we would be as nice or as mean as we wanted with the fortunes that were inside. So I think we're going to be sweet today, all right? We're not going to be too salty. But um, so that's the main thing. So like I said, on this outside, we would put the colors. On the inside, you would have numbers. And we would let somebody choose number twice. And then when they chose their last number, you open it up. And you read the fortune that's there. So what are we going to do? So what I'm going to do is, I think... Let's measure these little squares first. And again, we would just color them with markers, but that's not that cute. Let's see. It's like two and an eighth inches square. That one's a, more of solidly two and an eighth. Yeah. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll cut two inch squares of piece of paper, um, squares of paper from the paper pack. Um, and the paper pack is six by six. So you're gonna need four colors or four pieces for this outer piece that are two inch square on the inside these are all two inch squares obviously there are you know um, split down the middle but we're gonna do the same thing so I'm still gonna cut and I'll just leave it so it makes it easy a two inch square it's gonna have less of a border than this outside but we'll still do two inch squares um, 
and you'll need four again we're gonna cut them and you can do one color you can do whatever you like it doesn't matter on this part whatever you want to decorate and on the inside if you want to decorate or if you just want to leave it blank you're gonna need another set of two inch squares that we're gonna slice in the diagonal okay so real quick I'm gonna grab my paper again these are six inch square papers so like if you cut two inches over you're gonna get three pieces from one length of two by six paper right um, so I'm going to cut a bunch of two inch squares and I'll be right back. Okay, I cut all um, four pieces of paper at once because it was easy just to stack <laughs> the four colors that I wanted to use for the top and then cut them at two inches and then cut them at two inches in the other direction. So I have that and then I realized that leaves me 12 squares, which we need 12 squares, right? So four here, four in the bottom and then four on these top pieces. So I'm gonna go through, I picked out the colors that I think are very blue, you know, yellow, green, orange, uh, very much those colors. And what I'm gonna do is just glue them on. So of course this has um, a line. I'm not worried about that. If you want to score yours down the center, you can do that, you can score it and then glue them down. Um, they're gonna do what they need to do anyway because it's thin paper. So what I'm gonna do is just glue these down and you could do this when this is completely flat and open, but then we'd have to open it back up and do all that. I'd rather just go for it like this. So I'm just gonna glue these pieces very well because um, they're gonna be on this outer piece. I just wanna have them nice. If you still want to put names like orange or yellow, blue, whatever it is, then you can definitely do that. You can write it by hand. You can use little alpha dies if you have any. I am gonna use for the numbers some dies that I have that are super cute. Um, they're from the Amazing Paper Grace June 2020 kit, which is an alpha, um, or sorry, a calendar kit. So I'm gonna use that, but I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down, like I said, real well on the outside. Okay, so I had that on here and I went to train it again just to check it and the, it just bent like that, which is great. Like the colors, the paper just went into what it needed to do, you know? So look at that, so cute. Again, if you wanna put the name and the words on there, you can do that. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Um, so now we're gonna do the inside. And this is kind of what I was telling you, I was trying to get it away from the creases just to keep that nice and crisp okay so we have our two inch squares i have a feeling like i said this is gonna when we cut it in half i'll show you um i'm just gonna cut it with scissors <laughs> right uh, but you can put these all on your cutter guillotine however if you have scissors nice long ones what you're gonna do is go right down to the bottom just look at that and then pivot it so that it's gonna be pretty straight so you can see that i'm pretty much corner to corner okay now when we bring this over again it's a two inch square it's going to fill up a lot more of this than when it was on the outside so what i'm going to do is just go on inside of that just a little bit and just shave a little bit off now if you want to do this on a guillotine you can do them all and just cut them so you just shave a little bit of that off try to keep the same angle so i'll do that with all of the pieces that are going to go on the inside okay, so and i'll be tons right back. of little triangles now now you can do whatever you like if you want to keep them all one color or certain colors like on this middle part which is what i'll probably do um but otherwise you can mix them up so i think i'm gonna do like the blues and the greens and then we're gonna put our little numbers here so i think i'm gonna do blue green blue green all around again just like we did on the outside just glue them down put some glue on the back and glue it on that little section um all around and then on the inside i'll open this up I'll do the same thing, but we're gonna put our glue, our pieces in here. So whatever you have left or however you wanna do that, you can just glue them here and here, okay? And if you wanna decorate the other side, I suppose you can do that, but you really don't need to. So I'll just put my glue in and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm just finishing up adding all the pieces. I'm gonna let that sit for just a little bit so it can kind of dry, but look at that. So cute. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do is take some black paper. I think I wanna use black and I'm gonna run all, just this whole strip through. I just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So maybe just this first strip I will run through. And I'm gonna use black just so it pops, but I think white would actually look nice too with the color way, but, or even dark blue or whatever it is, but I think I'm gonna use black. So I'm just gonna take this. And I suppose when you watch this, it depends, but this is on sale right now for a pretty good price. So I was like, oh, well, timely use of it. But you see how it has all the little letters too that we can also um, use on the outside if you wanna put the words of the colors. I would pick short ones like red, blue, green, pink or something I would have used. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna run this through and get these numbers out and I'll be right back. Okay guys, you know, I had this shiny paper and I thought I'll use that. So um, just make sure I have my little numbers and I'm just gonna glue these on 
I'm gonna put my one somewhere else, but okay, we'll find it in just a minute here. <laughs> Actually, it might still be, yeah, I was gonna say it's probably still in the die, which is great. I always try to keep things either in the die or on the carry that you cut on, that way you're not misplacing your pieces, but there we go. And then I'm going to glue them on this part. So on the inside is where we're gonna have our little sentiments, which I'm gonna go through the, um, the die cut pack and then you know there's stamps in here there's puffy stickers like that have lots of different cute things that you can add in here and the fortune thing is basically you know the person opens up and then <laughs> I thought it said no one likes you <laughs> this is no one like you you can put that in there you know it's a little fortune the person oh that's sweet you know so blessed lovely I mean those are all cute little stickers you can pop in there uh, along with your die cut so it just depends what you want to do so I will look through that but for right now what I'm going to do on this side is just add our numbers so I'll put a little glue on the back of like number one let's get number one going and then I will glue it down and you can put them like this way I think I'll angle them just because it's cute but hold on let me think about it I haven't done this in a long time so when people open it they see the numbers hmm they see them like this hmm I'm trying to think about how I want to place them Okay, I'm going to place them like just in the center like this. So I started with number one there, which I should, probably should put it here, but that's okay. So there's number one and then number two. And just kind of play with it and see how the number is going to show up when it does show up. So like if this is open like this, the next time it's going to be open like this, the next number will be here. And again, facing out. So they're going to be opposite each other is all I'm trying to say. So this one, I'm going to glue it down like this. Okay, and then this one will be facing that way. This one, okay, every other one's gonna be, they're basically sitting on the, the little edge. Okay, I'll be right back. How cute this is looking. Oh my gosh, it's so sturdy. I'll say, maybe you wanna use like a very lightweight for this outer um, paper, but you know, our Spellbinders paper is very nice and sturdy, so there it is. But look at that, love it. Okay, and we're gonna open this up. And now we're gonna put our little sentiments in here. However you like, you know, however you wanna do them. I just grabbed just several from the, the kit. So I just grabbed things that, you know, I thought would make sense, like this cute total champ. So like when someone opens it and you say, oh, they're a total champion or whatever. Um, I'll take that and just pop it down in here. And that's what I'm gonna do for all of them. Just, you know, I love you. You can put that one in there. Happiness is shared. So this, this one, I knew it was gonna be kind of big and I figured what I'm gonna do for this one is actually take a little bit off the sides just to make it look a little more the same. And I'm gonna cut it right here. So I'm gonna glue down, let's say, now I'm putting the glue on there, which obviously you don't have to do that. You can put the glue on your pieces, but uh, let's put that there, happiness. And then it's shared. You know, that's one of the fortunes there. And however you want to put them, it doesn't matter because when you open it up, that person, you know, okay, under number seven is what their char their um, fortune is. Like this one has little fingers crossed. I thought that was cute. So I'm just going to put it in here. And he is a big boy, but I really wanted to use it. So I'm going to fit him in <laughs> as well as I can. Glue that down. And I have so blessed. You know, love this. Um, I love you. You are amazing. Um, lots of different things here. Is there another one? Okay, so you basically need eight things that you want to do. If you want to just write in a little fortune, you can always do that. Especially if you want to use it as like a magic eight ball, so somebody asks a question and then you do the thing and then it says like, yes, no, maybe, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I always like, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, not today, you know, surely or something. Whatever you want to write in here if you want to do it that way. But I'm going to glue these in and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I think we're all done. So again, our numbers, we have all our little fortunes in here. And I remember when we were kids, we'd start remembering them. I'm like, oh yeah, number three. <laughs> I have no idea what that says. <laughs> but anyway, so you know, it's just that little fortune game. So let's say I wanted green. So G-R-E-E-N. Okay, what number two? One, two, oh, okay, uh, three. So now you can do one, two, three again, or you can just open it up and say that number three is, you are amazing, oh, my fortune. <laughs> it got it right this time. Oh, that's so funny, I didn't mention that I was gonna pick three, didn't I? I didn't know you are amazing is under three, okay? <laughs> I had no idea when I did that, so that's funny. Um, and if you wanna decorate the outside, you know, just think about, okay, the little creases here. And then when you're using it, it's gonna go this way and that way and this way and that way. So you don't really wanna put anything that's gonna overlap like in these creases, but you can put uh, different things. So I was looking at some of the stuff here. Um, 
like just to decorate it, like you can have like I am the luckiest, you know, or something like that. However you want. Um, there's lots of little hearts, little stars, little things to make it cute. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. The little horseshoe. Definitely I'm going to put a horseshoe on the outside. So I'll decorate it up, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that's a fun little idea for you. And you can definitely include this like in a card um, if people know what it is. And you can probably even mail it flat like this if you wanted, but I would keep it the way it's meant to be like this. But it's so cute. And now I want to make one with the words on the inside. Oh, you know what? I'll have my kids do it because they would love that and make their own little fortunes. Just like when we were kids, we loved playing with these things. So thanks for watching, guys. I have the links in the description box. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Oop, there it goes. <laughs> Bye now.